Turn right, go down to 21st, turn right, 3 hours to the on 21st. Where's Bobby? 25th. Yeah, like, I kind of remember it was like, sort of like, get over for the dude, but it's like, what is what? Which one? This one? That's, that's the three dollars. Or distributors, whichever case you're using. No. Oh, yeah, it does well, yeah, it does well metering in. Well, yeah, that's all right. 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 It really takes a long time for those to see, you know, the break in through it all. All those rings. Yeah. This one goes on the right side of the ceiling. It's going to be where the intake is. Sure. And you want to put it here. Yeah, they just to get it. To get it. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. 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 Yeah, I've never told my customers. Yeah, this is yeah, it's real. Fun to see how it is. Four parts are going to be going to drag. It's going to break. I can get a board by some of the other people. There's no seating of those. It's all breaking. And when you're using solid seals. Yeah, yeah, take that. I got a bunch of like. And just uh, stretch it a little bit. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Feel, yeah. Feel, yeah. Feel, yeah. feel how, yeah. how hard it yeah. feels. Yeah. Go ahead and pull it. Just stretch it a little bit. Not a lot. You're going to stretch it all the way. The only time I've ever done that is always the first 500 miles. And that's because I always replace all bearings. Um, I mean, everything. I mean, the first 500 miles is a normal break in because that's your first oil change. Yeah, beyond that, who cares? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, guys from Spokane here, but it would have been five years ago, my white and purple car. We're almost ready to go. Um, that diamond was 560. And that thing was an animal, man. It's phenomenal. And, and I out around the cops in it one day. And it's been stripped ever since. <laughs> it was like five years ago. It's Oops. Still, <laughs> Two more years, you can put it back together. I'm with you. <laughs> Actually, my eight-year-old's gonna get a first first car. Uh, these are get to this point. So like this. No, I don't. It'll be different. I gave my first son an RX-7, a BMW, a Mazda 4x4. And he wasn't happy with any of that. And I gave him an Acura Integra. And now he's driving a lifted Jeep. And he's only 16. Nice. You know, he's uh, he's really uh, I don't know how you say it. Teenager. Uh, well, I don't know. He's really let me down. <laughs> and now he's turning on me. He wants a Z car. Before you start. Oh, well. <laughs> I've had lots of things. And his first RX-7 was his pre-ported GSLC. And parked it in the field. Oh, the spinners? The raised S spinners? No. You're tacky. Always brew. Always brew. Always brew. Sometimes it's nice to leave start plugs in those so you've got some to grab on. To hold on to. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the, that's the easiest one. The hardest part is getting some dirt in it. If you finger away, you've got somebody underneath there, just pop your finger touches that station on your shaft. It's all right. It drops together. Who wants to do the router?
But it was done. Sitting over there. Here, go on. Test the rotary. So, with the gear side up. And make sure that oil thing is this way. At the bottom. The bottom of the motor. Or at the top? Yeah, top of the motor. Because the other one's down. Just like that. So that one goes in the opposite Yeah. Don't let it drop. Just let it go in easy. The cool thing about the back one is the apex seals will keep it spaced properly so that when you go to slide on the inflate, your gear should be lined up so you just drop right in. If it doesn't, you've got something wrong. Same way, like. Stop, jump up again. So, why was there a Mazda van? There was. Boo, right? There was a Mazda van. We didn't get any over here. No, 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 I mean, it's house. Yeah, I went and saw it from. Yeah, that he was take, taking the second gen oh, that was the motorcycle in Minnesota. And he blew a rod okay. in between the Ritzville and here. They're not bad now, because now it's the RED. It took us a while to get it on that trailer with no ramps. Brian, put one in. A couple hours. I've got a... I was going to use it for a race car because it's a hard car. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Is it gray? Yeah. There's my door panels right there. <laughs> so safe. <Just> like <laughs> Yeah, you want the long tail. My door panels are all chewed up on the top. Yeah, I like the bottom This one's in the car only had like 80,000 miles. Okay, and there's no difference there between the top and bottom. Oh, Chris Bryant. No, only upside down. What's his name? Bryant. What's his name? Chris Bryant. 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 Let's go about the I knew you could do it. You small things and holes. I never hear it. Okay, so I'm just It's just like painting your nails. Yeah, you know all about that, right? Like doing nails? I want to draw it across it. <laughs> the what? 24. Why not use any sealer on here or here. Don't strictly use that. This was years ago. I don't know what he did with you. He wouldn't use this. Any sealer here, here, any go. And he was surprised when I came up and saw me use the sealer. I told him why. And I said, well, because your motors leak through here. He's a little upset for about it. But then he said, he says, I only do what, they, what the factory says. I had to drag out the manual and show him what the factory actually does. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen those old factory manuals? Manuals that says use silicone, and if you use silicone on that engine, the, the gases from it connect themselves to your alternator brushes, then you know how to charge it. That's the truth. It does what? The gases that come out of silicone connect to an electric 